Hi there YouTubers and 3D Studio Max lovers. In the last episode we created a 3D model for this from this picture. So in today's episode we're going to create all the necessary materials to to make this 3D to look like the image. So we are going to create the back wall with the, all the stones, the floor with the, all the wood slats, the ceiling material, the wood shades, the water material and so on. So if you guys are ready, let's dive in. Okay, so as you can see, this is the original image that we used to create this 3D. It's uh, not perfect, but it's looking good. So for now, I'm just gonna leave everything as it is and we're going to start to make uh, the textures. So the first texture that we're going to make is the back wall, the stone wall in this case. Yeah, let's see how uh, we can do this. So to do that, we are going to go to Ramon Esteve. So we're gonna uh, save this image, I already saved it, save, I'm just gonna open Photoshop now, I'm gonna open my uh, the texture from Ramon TV. I'm gonna save this as a JPEG, okay, now you need to go to edit, preferences, camera raw, and here in the camera raw on the file handling you need to say automatically open all supported jpegs and that's it this is the most uh, important thing you need to do and then you close photoshop to restart photoshop and you reopen it and in the moment that you are opening the texture that we just saved that's a jpeg which is this one it's going to open this with the camera raw so what's happening here i can enhance the picture and you can see here it's is trying to enhance the image. So what the program is going to do, this is the original image and this is after the enhanced. He doubled the texture in size. I'm just gonna open that. I'm gonna make a crop here, more or less like this. I'm gonna use the crop to have a piece of texture. The quality, as you can see, is not that amazing, but it's better than nothing. Uh, with Shift F5, I'm just gonna use the content aware. I'm gonna content aware that part. And now I'm using the Pix plant, which is a, a plugin. I'm going to create a, a texture out of this image. So I'm gonna go here to the tiling synth and I'm gonna use, use current map and I'm gonna generate an image. And now I have a tileable image, as you can see here. I don't see any edge from where it's starting and where it's ending. This is very helpful because uh, yeah, we can use this to create that wall. The quality is not gonna be perfect because as you can see, the quality of the image is not that amazing, but at least uh, we have something to use. So yeah, let's move on. For the displacement, I'm gonna use the base color map to have a nice displacement for this, as you can see here. So I'm gonna add a little bit of fine textures. And here also normal. So to this I'm gonna bring some details into it and also the ambient occlusion. And then I'm just gonna save all of this. I already have the textures made here and for those that are on my Patreon as a knight for example they can uh, download all of this from my Patreon so they can use the files. As you can see the quality is not the most amazing quality because also we didn't have enough information about this. We can use a different wall if you guys want to in the future but for now I'm just gonna use this just to, to see how it's going to look. So I'm just gonna close this for now I just wanted to show you how it's going to more or less to look the wall. So because we already made already made this lightning effect and I like what I'm seeing here so the light in this scene looks okay for now I'm just I just want to see more of the sky so to do that we just need to go to altitude and to change the altitude of the space so if I'm having here 2000 meters the blue is getting much more blue as you can see it's closer to what we have here also the shadow I think it's quite similar more or less so yeah I'm just going to use this for now to create our scene so let's create our wall I'm going to apply a corona 
bitmap I'm going to apply the stonewall base color and I'm gonna add this in the base as a color and then I'm just going to apply this to my wall and I'm also going to apply an UV map to this as a box in real world map size because I want to have the size of my wall from this texture so because this is more or less a square if you see yeah it's a little bit bigger than a square so it's going more or less like this but yeah I will use a real world scale here and I will use for the width around 3000 millimeters which is three meters and here i'll go with 2800 and now you can see the wall yeah it's a little bit too small i will say maybe i can make this uh, 2500 by 2200 oh no now it's definitely way too small go 3600 by 3200 yeah this could work this could definitely work okay so now we have the wall and now let's do the rest of the textures in here so to do that i'm just gonna copy this on the bottom and i'm gonna load in here another texture so this time i will use the stone wall ambient occlusion and i'm going to mix these two with a corona mix and I will use a multiply for this and now I'm gonna have some dark shadows from the ambient occlusion of course this uh, texture if I don't like it that much I can make it less by having a less multiplier in here actually it would be better to have them like this I think to zero is no shadow 0.5 it's a little bit but I will check all of that in a short time until then I'm gonna add here some uh, roughness I'm gonna load the roughness map that I have in here which is this one and I'm gonna add this in the roughness okay to this I'm gonna apply a color correct so if I make the brightness less or the exposure it's getting more reflective but I don't want to have I don't want to have too much reflection just a little bit okay now I'm just gonna copy this here and I'm gonna use the normal to this I need to apply a corona normal I'm gonna add this in here and this needs to go to the bump, base bump I need to use the add gamma input because as you can see it's not working very well and now it's looking good maybe it's a little bit too much the strength but uh, yeah we're just we're going to check that in a second so let's see how it's looking for now i'm gonna start my render i need to stop my uh, uh, material override okay just gonna wait a white generic material for now for the rest of the space white generic and i'm gonna make this 220 which is the maximum white that you should use I'm gonna hide this and I'm gonna control A and apply this to everything and hide all and now I should be able to see my wall okay I can see the material it's not looking amazing of course as usual it's always like that fortunately Too many shadows I'll just use 0 0.1 for now and what I don't really like is that it's not very 3D so to do that I'm gonna apply a corona displacement and for this displacement we're going to use another texture that we have it here which is this one and this one is going into the displace and I'm going to use that displaced at that displacement map actually in here so I'm gonna say get from the material and now I can tell the pro tell the program how big the displacement should be so right now it's 10 millimeters so it's one centimeters but I can make it 150 for example I can make it 20 so yeah for now I'm just gonna leave it as it is I'm not gonna mind too much how it's actually working I'm just gonna apply the same material also here and it's not that bad okay this is fine for now I will adjust everything uh, a little bit uh, uh, later 
So now we need to create the, the wood floor. So for that, yeah, I'm going to use one of these textures from the loadpixel.com. They are all for free, as you can see here. Uh, you can download them and use them in your projects. Yeah, I love their textures. It's a 4K resolution. You need to make an account and yeah, you can also have here uh, some pricing if you want. So uh, this is not an advertising for them. I just trying to find all the time free stuff that I can use in my tutorials so you guys can find them and also use them uh, very easily. Yeah, I'm gonna leave uh, this link in the description to use it. So I'm gonna try to use this one for now and let's see how it's working. And then if it's not working very well, we can uh, yeah use something else. I'm gonna make here wood. There are PNG, so this means that they are very good quality. Yeah, let's see how it's going to work. Also, how they are going to look. Uh, yeah, from what I see, they're not very. I mean, the resolution is high, but the image is not very big. Yeah, I'm not very happy with this one, to be honest. Let's see something else. Maybe this. Okay, let's see the Karina. Yeah, this is definitely much better texture oh yeah we're going i'm going to use this one and we're just gonna change the color into something more reddish okay let's start with that this is the stone let's create the wood wood floor uh, as usual i'm just gonna take a corona physical material to this i'm going to apply a corona bitmap and um, i'm gonna add this in the base color for now I don't know how big is this image or should be, but from here I would say that it uh, could be 2 by 2 meters maybe. It's not that big actually, it's probably 1 by 1 meter or so, taking consideration how big is the, are the veins on the, wolf, on the wood. But uh, yeah, it doesn't matter for now, I'll just make it uh, 2000 by 2000. I'm just gonna apply this to my floor for now. Let's see how it's looking. Yeah, apply a UV map as well on this one. Just make it as a box. Okay, it's not bad. I'll just rotate everything on the X. I think it's uh, looking nice. And now what we need to do is to, because in the moment that you create this floor with the floor generator, the floor generator is uh, creating for you different uh, uh, material like this for this wood slats yeah so this means that it, in general if you use if you have multiple wood textures that are the size of one of these wood panels these wood slats then you can uh, apply different textures to each of them but uh, in our case because I have only one texture I need to use the, the textures that I have in different colors and in different repetitions. So this is with the material ID. So to do to have a material ID, uh, a different material ID on each of the wood slats, I'm going to use a Corona uh, UVV randomizer, which is going to go directly in here. And in this way, knowing that they are all uh, different, I can change from zero to one, and I should have like different positions of the same wood texture on the on the floor. Okay, but what I don't like is the fact that it's not red, the color of the texture. So to do that, I'm going to apply a Corona Color Correct. And now I'm going to try to change the color of this by changing the hue. I think it's uh, quite reddish. I'm going to change the exposure also. And uh, the gamma maybe a little bit. And yeah, let's check how it's everything looking for now. Mm, yeah, here I see that the wood slats are not very long, so maybe I can change that from here. Anyway, I'll just leave everything as it is for now, because I don't see this part, so what I really care actually is how it's my texture actually looking. So yeah, the color is not bad. I think it's close enough to the reality. Mm, yeah, this one was much more red, actually, not that dark. But uh, yeah, I want to have like different types of wood slats in different colors to match as much as possible the image from, from them. 
as you can see here some of them are brighter some of them are darker and so on so this means that we need to make all of them lighter like this and then some of them at one moment will become darker so yeah it is red but it's a little bit too much red i think okay i'll just leave it like this for now and now i'm gonna mix the corona mix i'm gonna have here on the bottom my main color and with the Corona Multimap that is going on the top and I'm going to use here a white and some of them are gonna be a little bit darker some of them a little bit more and in the moment that I put the mesh element in here you can already see the differences so let's do that also here with the mesh element okay and now I'm gonna add a little comma randomization great as possible i'm gonna add a little bit more make all of them white and then try to make a couple of them a little bit uh, grayish just to have different types and this should be fine for now it's quite a lot of randomization yeah this tone i'm not very happy with it but uh, yeah, we can always change it with a nice clear and beautiful texture for now yeah i'll just leave everything as it is now I'll apply this also on the door because it's similar material. I just need to change the way the UVB is going. It needs to go on the Z, I think. Yeah, now it's fine. Okay, this is looking good. Okay, let's make uh, this uh, material, wood material, uh, better. Let's add the rest of the textures on it. I'm just gonna copy this here. And to this, I'm gonna load the roughness. And I'm gonna add this to the roughness, an instance. The moment that I did that it's already becoming very reflective to change that I'm gonna add a color correct in this and I'm gonna adjust it by changing the exposure changing the exposure upwards I think this is fine for now just gonna move this here actually this needs also a new V because they were working together here I'm gonna load the corona normal because I need also some nice bump into this and I need to, when you use a normal uh, map you also need the corona normal texture you, you need to use the add gamma and then this goes into the bump and now I'm just gonna save uh, let's go to the next step creating the texture for the ceiling part um, for this I just want to add a little bit more details to the whole thing as you can see here it has some extra details the ceiling part so i'm just going to to do all of that also here to see there are some gaps between the stone and the ceiling i'm just gonna collapse the ceiling for now and start adding some details alt one just gonna add this uh, seam in here another one here there's another one here and now I'm just gonna select this one and I'm gonna use extrude I'm gonna isolate my object just to see what's happening there and yeah as you can see this is how it's going so I'm gonna leave this around two centimeters and this one is gonna go on the other side another two to create a small gap there uh, yeah I shouldn't have it also on the top part but we don't see that so I will just leave it as it is for now and then for the other ones with G you can hide the grid by pushing G and these are a little bit smaller so for these ones I'm also going to ex use an extrude but I'm just gonna make them very very tiny uh, I don't know if we have it also on the side so I'll just take it out from the side to be sure I'll just leave it on the bottom the geometry is gonna look better if I have it also on the side actually okay this is looking nice and now I just want to create a little bit of chamfer in here so with double click on each edge it's gonna select the loop the whole edge you can also use the loop from here it's doing exactly the same thing so for this i'm just gonna use a chamfer from here i just want to make everything a little bit round to have it um, to have it better this could work very nice and for the other one which is this i also want to do exactly the same uh, thing 
think. some textures in here let me check these two if they are touching here yeah so this wall should go under for a bit actually it should go like if the displacement is 10 once 10 centimeters it should go a little bit lower so i'm gonna use minus the y minus 10 yeah, it's a little bit too much minus two minus two and to this i'm going to apply a material from the corona material library i'm just gonna go to concrete and here they have a couple of different uh, beautiful textures that we can use yeah this concrete floor also looks very nice okay let's try to apply this is it there already no i need to apply a uv map on this one just gonna make it a box and a real world map scale. Let me. Oh, the material wasn't applied, so let me do it all over again. Sign to selected object. Yeah, now it's there. Save the file. Okay, not very happy with it. It also went this. Mm, yeah, let's try something else. Maybe this concrete simple. Let's sign to selected object. So, seeing that now. My 3D model has kind of like a curve here each time. This is happening because of the chamfer that we applied on, on this object. So to do that, I just need to go back to my original faces, the big ones, because I want to have some. And here to take this polygon smoothing group out. So this needs to be clear all, and now it's gonna be uh, better, it's gonna be flat, as you can see. Okay, this is not really uh, bad. It's quite it's looking quite good actually. I'd like to have a little bit more textures in there. Let's see this one. Of course, it has a lot of reflection. You can fix that by going here and just changing the output and go here and apply corona color correct in here and now with the exposure i'm just gonna take the exposure out and now it's gonna work how i need it and i apply again the texture looks very big okay um i'm still not very happy with this texture now we'll just apply corona color correct in here and just make it brighter just let me see how i can add both of them in the same time the render and the... okay this is better maybe a little bit less of contrast I don't have so much stuff happening on the ceiling okay for now it's perfect let's see what else we do we need here so we need these wood slats we have the material on them and uh, yeah here there is also concrete i'm just gonna copy that here so on that part For the wood shades, I'm just gonna use some piece of wood from Corona. Let's see which one would, will, will work the best. It's definitely not the walnut, could be a venge or the oak. Okay, I just added the oak in here and I just need to add also a metal material in here, but that one I'm going to create it myself. So I'm gonna, so I'm gonna add a Corona physical and change this to metal and the color. I'm just gonna make it a brownish uh, dark color. As you can see, I'm gonna make a copy of this here and make this brighter for the edge. I'm changing the roughness. It's gonna change also the way it's looking. Okay, this could go even darker, I think. Like a dark bronze. And then these two together, as you, if you remember from the other tutorial that I made, in the moment that I created all these uh, wood slats i made the metal pivot that it's in the middle with one material id which is two and the other one the wood slat the wood shade i made it with a material id one so what i need to do now is to create a multi sub object that has the wood going in the first id and the metal on the second one and in the moment that i'm going to apply this here 
it's just gonna go HID exactly where it needs to go. The only problem is that I need to apply an UV map to this because it doesn't have one. Do that, I'm gonna make it on a box, real world map scale. I'm always working with real world map scale. I'm just gonna rotate this to the other direction. And now, as you can see, I have the texture, but it's getting repeated in all these wood slats. And to change that, I need to go here back to my wood material and apply here a new VD randomizer. And because it's everything on instance, I'll just uh, leave it as it is. And I'm just gonna change here the, uh, the UV from zero to one. And I'm going to use also the randomized each tile. And now I need to apply also the same one in the reflection glossiness. And also this one needs to go also in the bump. So now if I go back to my 3D and open my, uh, my render, and it didn't work out because these are not actually instances so probably in the moment that I'm applying the array they are I can change the material ID in here so it's all working with material ID so I'm gonna use 10 they all became red and in the moment that I should go here on my uh, and I'm just gonna go with the primitive here now should be all everything fine okay this looks fine for now I need to apply this material also to the other wood slats on the other side just need to be sure that these ones they also have an, a UV map let's check everything you can see the whole image got much darker because of the these dark materials so to change that I just need to go back to my tone mapping and change the simple exposure to something much brighter so there is also beam here behind that I need to make okay let's apply also the same wood to this this has a frame I will just use the metal for the frame and for the glass I will just create a quick material chroma physical and from here I'm just gonna make it dark and very reflective and other full refraction and I'm going to apply this to my glass And behind there is a box. If you remember, we made a box. I just need to delete this face of the box so we can see inside. Okay. Shift G. Yeah, this material, I don't know exactly what it is. Here there is a frame. I also need to apply the metal to that one and also maybe probably to this one. Okay, let's see the pool. So this is the water part, that's the pool. Uh, let me just extend this I we don't need for now. Just going to extend the water till the end of the pool but on the side of the pool and then uh, here I'm just gonna go to the left view front view and I'm just gonna change this direction and now I'm just gonna add the water exactly on the top of this like this okay so for the next part we're going to make the water so let's start with that. So this is our uh, uh, water. The first thing that I'm going to do, I'm gonna apply a retopology. This with 5,000 face counts, I'm gonna compute. I'm gonna isolate my water to see how it's looking. As you can see, it divided everything in squares, which are all the same size. This is an amazing tool these days. And then I'm going to apply a turbo smooth just to add more of these uh, polygons as much as possible this should be enough for now and then on top of this i'm going to apply a displace actually an uv map on box can be also on planner but real world map size and then on top of this i'm going to use a displace so to this displace i'm going to leave it as it is for now and move to the material to the material i'm just going to use the corona physical material with a metalness non metal and um, with the color i'm just gonna make it black because water doesn't have a color with the roughness i'm just gonna put it zero so it's totally reflective with the ior i'm gonna put 1.33 this is the ior for the water and for the refraction i'm gonna use one you can also have a point 
0.99 not to have it perfectly uh, reflective and then I will just leave it a uh, zero for now and I'm going to apply a noise from the general so it's from here and this is gonna go to the base color for now because I just want to see how big it's my noise on my water object so I'm just gonna apply that and I'm gonna click on this and show in the viewport Okay, let's check my noise it's uh, coming by default with 63.5 uh, I'm going to use this as a fractal and I'm just going to apply this into my displays and to the water material I'm just gonna make it uh, refractive all the way and let's see how it's all looking and the strength so this the displays how high it's gonna go I'm just gonna use three centimeters for now and if you go if you you can see how big it is and you can also see it in reality so to change the displacement size you can we can just go here and change it or 10 for example and you can see more waves into the object and let's apply the material to it it's applied now let's see how it's looking okay as you can see we have some waves in there the water is a little bit too transparent in reality it's just getting uh, this blue tint so to create that you need to go to Corona physical material and we're gonna to the media options and here we're gonna apply the blue tint. So we're just gonna go with a color like more or less like this. I don't like to have it to see on. Maybe this could work. And then I'm gonna apply a distance to, to this uh, uh, material. So if you use 10 centimeters for now, it's gonna get very blue as you can see here which could be realistic but this means that after 10 centimeters of deepness the water is getting this blue so if i make it uh, bigger like 200 centimeters or 150 is less so if you get bigger numbers here it's getting less blue until it's actually disappearing and if you get smaller numbers it's getting more blue uh, this is how it's also working in uh, reality so yeah for now i'll just leave it uh, 150 should work uh, we can adjust this later also so let's see yeah it's all looking uh, nice though another thing that I would like to do is to the noise I will use the fractal not the regular and I will create less as you can see here a little bit more contrast in this way yeah it's going the displacement is gonna be much higher the levels I'm gonna put nine here you can have more or less and let's see the displays is three or maybe one two this should be fine let's create the material for the pool so i'm gonna hide this for now i'm just gonna isolate my pool and here we're gonna create the material if you remember and if you can see here so the pool is made out of uh, small tiles which are green and there are different colors of these tiles as you can see here so i'm going to show you a way how to create this kind of tiles having them without a repetition of course maybe they also have a textures into there but uh, for now we're just gonna use a color okay so first of all i'm opening my material slot i'm gonna create tiles for the pool and then here i'm gonna add the tiles from the general and then i'm gonna apply these tiles to a corona physical material and add these ones here as a base color and i'm gonna try to apply this material to my object and then this should also have a uv map so i'm gonna apply on uvv and this is gonna go as a box real world scale and now as you can see this is very very small but uh, we can make them bigger without any problem so i'm gonna go here and you say you use real world scale so because we have one two three four one two three four and if one it's what uh two by two centimeters let's say two by four is means eight by eight centimeters and now we have the real world scale so so now what i also want to have is to have a color variance in this so i'm gonna add here in the moment that i do that as you can see some of them are becoming darker so this is how you create them but the problem is because this tile is four by four so it's this size you can see the uh, the tile ability and the repetition of the texture so to change all of that we need to create more tiles so right now we have eight by four and divided by four so eight divided by four this means two centimeters so if i want to have more let's say if i put here four 
100 by 400. I need to add here to have two centimeters. I need to add here 200 by 200. Sorry, this should be 0.3. But 100 by 100 is the maximum, so you can't go more than this. So this means that I need to add here 200 by 200 centimeters. I will use uh, 16 by 16 and add here uh, 8 and 8. Now, as you can see, that my tiles are bigger, but I can still see the repetition. If I go to my camera, yeah, I think it's they're not big enough. They should be uh, much bigger. So two centimeters is probably not enough. Let's make them four. So this means that I need to go here four by four. Is it enough? Let me see that picture again. So one, two, three, four, five. There are five on this. So now I have one, two, three, four, five, six. So let's have here 20 by 20. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, now it's fine. So this is a correct size. The only thing is that uh, I just want to have more. So I'm gonna make it 40 by 40 and I'm gonna have here eight and eight. So 40 divided by eight is five. And then the grout here, as you can see, it's a little bit too much. So I'm gonna use here three and three. Oh, point three and point, point three. And point three, maybe it's working, maybe even less. Two and two, 25. Yeah, this should work. Yeah, it's looking good. Also, if I want to make this untileable, I can add in here an uh, UVV randomizer and use this and the randomized tile. I'm just gonna use one and one. And uh, because there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I'm gonna use eight steps and eight steps. In this way, my um, line grout is always going to match the, the image. I'm gonna do that. And now you don't see very well, but they are quite green, a dark green, I will say, a little bit uh, desaturated and the grout lines are a bit white. Let's do that. Let's put some color in here. So I will just go to my tiles and to the texture. Here you can also add the texture if you have, or you can add the color. So I'm just gonna make them around here a dark gray. I'm gonna desaturate this gray as much as possible. I'm gonna leave it as it is. And then for the grout, I'm just gonna make it a little bit whiter, which is a dark gray. And then we have a color. Then for the roughness, I'm just gonna use exactly the same color and I'm gonna add this into my uh, roughness. And, oh no. I'm gonna add this to my roughness as an instance, of course. And here, Just gonna make a copy of it, use the same UVV randomizer, and I'm gonna change the colors in here. So to have a very, as you can see now, it's very reflective, and this is happening because very dark colors in the roughness, they are working as reflection, and very white ones, they are working as less reflective. So yeah, you can't see it here, but actually the crowd, it's not that reflective. And also in reality it's not that reflective because they are using a kit that it's uh, not reflective and for the color i'm just gonna use just a dark gray see it's getting losing the reflection and now i'm getting some reflection in there and this could be uh, actually more or less a ceramic tile and i also need to take this two here and use it as a bump which is gonna go in here and for the bump i'm gonna do the opposite this is gonna go dark this is gonna go more gray and uh, yeah i think we have the material let's have a look and apply this go to my camera yeah, it's very reflective the material but it's looking nice it's of course it's reflecting the the sky i'm gonna unhide all yeah, it's quite green i like it i think it's close to what we need overall uh, yeah now it's everything is getting darker so we just need to make everything a little bit more brighter the color of these wood slats are not really correct so let's change that because they should be more red to do that i'm just gonna use a corona color correct in here and i'm just gonna make this with a hue more red and yeah, they are close but uh, they are not that red actually this is a little bit too much let's use minus seven 
10 using the simple exposure to change a little bit though. I think this is looking nice. The pump, maybe the size of my water is a little bit too much. I think in the picture less. So let's change that for now. Let's have it only one maybe. And also to change the size of it, I'm just gonna go to my noise and make it less, maybe five. Okay, this is uh, starting to look good. There is too much light coming from the other side because I don't have a wall there. So I need to create a room really fast. So as you can see here, so right now I'm just gonna go and just create a, to create a box for now. In this way uh, I will not care what's uh, happening on the other side. Just delete this space and apply to all of this white material which I should have in here. This one and uh, let me save this. Okay now it's all game more darker. Uh, this is uh, I guess it's good. And uh, yeah, there is one thing that we need to add in here is the color of this handrail and the color of this uh, metal part from where the water is coming out. So let me just create a dark metal for this Corona physical. I'm just gonna make it metal. I could, could just go like that and I will put pump on this. For the pump, I'm just going to use a noise, a normal noise. I will make this noise very small, point one, like one, world x y z, and I'm gonna apply this to my this part here, like this one for now. And let's see. Okay, this is looking good. Um, let's see the differences. I don't know exactly what material does that thing has in there and also this part here but uh, I'm guessing that it's a curtain and I also need to add this light in here so let's do that I'm just gonna select this two for now go to the top and here select a light from the corona corona light and I'm just gonna want to have this as a rectangle and now I'm gonna go from here till here this needs to be lower because it's gonna be hidden in there and the, I'm gonna make this two centimeters and now I'm just going to select my floor from floor generator select these two lines from here and move everything like this but um, yeah, let's unhide everything let's see how it's looking could be a problem that you can't see it because this wall it actually has an uh, on displacement so the displacement is covering actually the light so I will just go like this and try to figure out the displacement of the wall is 10 centimeters so I need to move this on the Y let's say 5 for now another 5 oh yeah actually I didn't do anything because it was an X so I need to go on the X like this Anyway, let's uh, try to fix this. Actually, let me just unhide to leave only this and the wall. And now I can see exactly what's happening. Okay, this is uh, looking nice. As you can see here, this the wall is going over the the floor because it's it has a small uh, yeah, it's two centimeters. Okay, let's see how it's all everything looking. We also have the light there. Yeah, I don't know if the power of is enough. Let's have a little bit more, 150 maybe. I will just make this uh, a little bit warmer. What else do we need to add in here? Uh, yes, we need to add also a waterfall. We need to add also a waterfall. So I'm just gonna go to 3D Sky. Just gonna write here water fall. Yeah, I'm just gonna use uh, one of these. These are looking very nice. I'm gonna make a tutorial only how to create these waterfalls with the Phoenix FD, but uh, I don't wanna make this uh, video more longer than it is. So I'm just gonna use this. You can buy this for $7. Okay, I'm just gonna add this in here with merge. You can see they are quite big, but uh, yeah, I'm just going to use this one. You know, this one is also looking nice. It's quite big, so I'm gonna group, ungroup everything, unhide all, I'm gonna go here, try to select my box and the water, rotate this, try to have it here, 
close as possible to my object. Yeah, the distance is quite big. I'm gonna scale everything for now. Can go even more. Okay, this is looking good. Let's go on the left view and then with an FFD, I'll just try to fix this. I'll just take the bottom part, and move it here on the top. Let's see. It's so nice, it's looking good. So because it's water and this is a mesh, you're not going to see actually the deformation of the of the 3D model. So that should be fine for now. And I'm gonna apply the same water material that I've created to this object. And let's see how it's looking. Um, yeah, I don't see anything. Let me just make a copy of this water and try to apply it. I'll just make it less uh, defective for now, just to see it. Okay, we see it now. 0 0.8, 0 0.9. And I'll add a different value to here. Now it's more blue, we should be able to see it better. Let's see what's happening right now. Mm, yeah, top part, I don't really like it. Okay, to this top part, I'm also going to apply the wood that I made here. Can apply a UV map, the box. Unfortunately, I don't see anything. Let's show texture real world yeah, this should be fine oh, don't one thing that we still need to do is the sky which is not as blue as our as the one that we have in our render so to do that uh, so for the blue sky that is behind the image as you as you can see here for this blue sky we need to find a different texture so to do that i'm just uh, gonna go to the poly have on here just go to hdris and yeah let's find an hdri that is looking similar to that uh, maybe this one we also have a tree so this could work quite nice i think even though it's a graveyard but uh, has a little bit too many lines and uh, clouds on the on the sky let's see what else do we have here yeah this one could be perfect okay just download this at the hdri and let's uh, this one maybe this is more blue and more pure. Yeah, just download this and uh, uh, let's use this one. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to leave my lightning exactly as it is because uh, I think it's working uh, well for now. And uh, I'm just going to change the, the sky of the whole thing. So to do that, I'm going to go to F10 and here I'm just going to go to direct visibility. And I'm going to use my new map that I just download. I'm just gonna open it, just gonna drag it in here to have some control over the, the way it's gonna react. As an instance, real world scale, I'm not changing anything here and I just want to see how my 3D is actually looking. So let's start the render. As you can see, it's already looking much more blue. Let's change power of this. Let's rotate this 45, 60. Let's add more blue. 20 yeah the light needs to be a little bit more to the side the right side so the light is coming from the right side 130 160 yeah this is looking good now i'm just going to play a little bit with my sky because the altitude color was quite uh, blue but i can have here zero now i should get less blue uh, the intensity can go to a little bit more if you want to have more color but i think one is enough 1.2 maybe to get more light into this yeah, the blue is quite similar let me take everything out and let's create a render on a high quality 0.8 here i will just use a noise limit of three and i'm just going to hit render another thing that i forgot and i would like to add now is the light mix in case i need to make some Ok, 
Okay, so I started the render. I'm gonna render everything with the default. So I'm gonna do the tone mapping at the end. I also have the light mix in here. And uh, I used a noise level target of three. So let's see how fast it's going, th it's going this render to, to be finished. Okay, so we have here our final render. As you can see, it's uh, everything by default. Uh, these are the materials. It's not everything very sharp because uh, yeah, the resolution of the image is not that big. Okay, so now let's try to give it a punch to this, uh, to this render. So the first thing that I would like to do is to make the environment a little bit less because right now it looks a little bit too powerful and uh, yeah I would like to make it a little bit more moody for now I'll just leave the simple exposure as it is it can go and then I would like to add here the filmic mapping this is my favorite uh, thing to use add some rich shadows in here this should be fine the highlights compression they can also go a little bit higher to make it more uh, moody I can add a little bit of contrast 1.5 I think it's enough for now and then I would uh, like also to add a tone curve to add a bit of uh, highlights bring a little bit of darkness bring the shadows up a little bit okay this is looking nice as you can see there is some difference in there and then uh, what else we can bring here let's bring some curves let's see how our curves are actually looking well from what I see it's everything fine as long as everything stays still here this this line and starting from here yeah everything is looking good but this is also happening because the AC ACE is OT so let's check now as you can see once I did that everything is going further away so normally I should bring everything here to make it correctly but anyway I will just uh, put the ACEs back and delete this and uh, what else do I need to do I would like to bring the loot here this is going to make the image well if we use the first one it's going to make the image a little bit more yellow and I think it's a little bit much closer to the original image let's bring here also the bloom and glare once I'm doing that our light is going uh, quite high but I will use here around 3.3 maybe 1 yeah, it's better uh, on the sharpening and blurring I'll put the sharpen radius 0.9 and of course the denoising so yeah this is our image for now now I'm just gonna save only this image as a TIFF I'm gonna save my image as a Targa okay now I'll just open my file And I'll go to camera raw filter and bring a little bit more of contrast maybe. Take the highlights down, a little bit of less shadows, bring some texture in. Original image was a little bit more yellow. Bring some noise reduction in here. The color noise reduction. Uh, the curves. the color grading will stay as it is and then I would like to take a little bit of this I would like to bring more blue in here okay let's see the original image for a bit Okay, the water is a little bit more green. To do that, let's go to... Okay, this is nice. image I would say yeah the shadow could be a little bit more darker but uh, yeah overall and also the details here and the wood flutter could be a little bit different so yeah 
this was the episode of today in case you guys have uh, any comments please leave them below it will be very helpful for my channel i will leave this file and also the cxr the corona axr file for my patrons you can download the file from there also the 3d studio max file is going to be there without the textures that are from corona of course and uh, the ones that are free but uh, yeah the wall is going to be there even though it's not looking that amazing so yeah please don't forget to thumbs up if you like this video don't forget to subscribe in case you didn't do it already and see you in the next one bye